Many people decided to just stay inside today, but those who had to venture out found themselves shoveling for quite some time. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth caught up with several people who were digging their way out of their homes and around their cars today, and he joins us now with more on why people had their hands so full. Randy? Yeah, Heather, we're out here at a neighborhood off of Lindenwood Avenue in Fort Wayne. The majority of people looking around were able to get out this morning, but they did run into a few problems. The people we spoke with said, hey, this snow is too heavy. There's too much moisture in it, and our snow blower is not working. So you know what? They had to go out and get their shovels and start doing some manual labor. This gentleman was one of the few people we found who could dig his way out this morning with a snow blower. It's not too bad. It's, it's moist, but... Uh... The blower blows it. Are you glad you don't have to use a shovel? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Most people weren't that lucky. The snow blower is not working very well, so I decided I'd get my work out and do it this way. The snow seems really, really damp. I mean, it's sticky, and I don't think snow blowers are going to work very well. So, just how much snow did people have to shovel this morning? We're about to find out. And looking right here on the sidewalk, just a little over seven inches. According to what uh, was predicted, what Jonathan predicted, uh, we got it. I would have preferred to have a little bit less. But we didn't want to just stand there and watch others do all the work. We lent a helping hand. Do you mind if we help you out? Yes. We helped out nine-year-old A. Marie McClinvin, who scraped off the family Jeep with a broom. Because if you're short, you can go all the way over the car. And my dad told me so, too. Uh, what's the secret? Well, you just sweep it off so my mom won't have, to, won't have to do it. Now, our photojournalist, Ross, our photojournalist, Ross Kinsey, and myself did enjoy going out and just talking to people about what they had to do this morning, though it did take them a little while to get out and hit the road. Also, coming up in the newscast, we're going to hear from an emergency room doctor and find out what he says you should do to avoid serious injury before heading out to shovel your driveway. Reporting live from the mobile newsroom in Fort Wayne, I'm Randy Spieth, News Channel 15.